Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing today? This is Yusuf Chowdhury. Uh, tuning in once again from San Antonio, Texas. Sorry, I'm a little bit late today. Okay. But no worries. It's uh, 6.24 p.m. Central Time. So today I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about how to when you when you look for a one second when you look for a th uh, WordPress theme or template when you uh, look for a, a premium theme or template there, there are certain rules that you have to follow to avoid any type of confusion and at the same time you don't want to end up being a uh, what you call it a WordPress template junkie right what I mean by that you don't you don't want to end up just buying multiple themes because you're not happy with each one of them and I've I used to I remember this one student that used to come to my workshop like almost for a year Every time uh, this indi individual comes to my workshop, still trying new themes because they're never happy with the other one. Or they found a theme that does most of the stuff except for one thing, so they're going to completely change. You don't want to end up being that person because you're going to end up wasting a lot of money just buying templates for no reason because you have no direction and no clue in the first place. Okay? No clue in the first place of really why you're even buying the themes, right? So I'm going to show you guys how this problem should be resolved as soon as possible. Okay, just give me a few minutes here. I'm going to share this video of the live streaming on a group right here. And we'll start. And if you all have any question, I know there's one person supposed to come here. She got tons of questions. Is she, uh, is she log in? Oh, let's wait for her. All right. Okay, okay. Okay, Murad, my man, what's going on, bro? How you doing, man? How you doing? What's new with you? Okay, so let me show you first. When it comes to a... Charles, what's going on, my man? Good to see you, bro. How are you doing? How you doing, man? How you doing? How you doing? Okay. Uh, purchasing a premium theme, right? There are like tons of companies out there, uh, like Studio Press, which uh, got acquired by WP Engine, uh, Elegant Themes, Thrive Theme. Uh, Elementor right now, uh, Avada, uh, X themes, there are tons out there, right? You can purchase these premium themes, you can customize them. Uh, it basically helps you to be more efficient with the project because if you do build things from scratch, this is Charles can attest to that. A lot of developers, you're looking at like based on the scope of, of the project and the work and the demands and the upside and whatnot, it can take like six months, three months, up to a year. In most cases, right? But with WordPress, you can finish that within like a hopefully uh, three month uh, top, okay? Or not more than three months. So when you, uh, let's say you picked themeforest.net to pick up specific theme for a specific niche, right? So when you go to this option right here, you can see there's a blog style theme. There's a forum based, uh, corporate style, creative, uh, directory listing, e-commerce based uh, sites, education look there's something specifically just for element or entertainment like movies and whatnot uh non-profit organization real estate type of business retail technology wedding and some miscellaneous and of course they also have plugins right so that's the first place you probably look based on the type of business you're in or niche and whatnot right so the second thing is when you pick any theme let's say i'm going to pick this one right here okay if I pick this theme right here, 
there, there are a few things you have to really, really take into consideration. Okay? The first thing is, uh, the first thing is, are you able to get in touch with the developer of the theme or the company? So you got to make sure the first thing is, am I able to get in touch with them? Right? Am I, like if you click on the profile, they will give you information how to get in touch with them. And if you do, see if they can respond within like 24 hours. If they don't respond like within 24 hours or, or if you got the reply after like two or three days, not a good option to use that theme because any anytime there is an update or you need some help, that means they're going to basically delay the process of getting back to you. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay. All right. So first thing is what? You check the profile. You check the portfolio. Contact them. Tell them, hey, I saw your theme. Just want to make sure that, you know, uh, if your response is quick, if you can get back to me as soon as possible. The second thing you look for is sales. How many sales that this theme well, was sold? Like how many times it was sold? You can see like 100,000. Wow, this is good. For 190,000 times there was a sale. That's the second thing you're going to look for. The third thing you're going to look for comments. Do they have enough comments? And what kind of comments are those? Because sometimes you will see a comment that they're seeking help or there's some sort of issues or troubleshooting and whatnot. You can see what kind of question they asked and how did this individual a company or developer resolve it. That's number three. Number four, look for rating. Very, very important. I recommend uh, any theme not less than four stars. Four stars or, or more. This one got five. And there are 18,000 comments and 190,000 sales good sign okay so number four is what you look for the rating number five you look for when was the last time it was updated so the the amazingly uh april which is like almost <clears throat> before the last month 2020 right so that's very good that means this individual or this developer or this company they are up to date with the latest update that uh, what you call it, um, WordPress releases. Very, very important. Very, very important, okay? So you look for the for the update. So first we talked about uh, getting in touch with the developer, look for the sale, how many sales, the more the better, look for the comment, look for the reviews, not less than 4%, then look for the latest update. When, it, when was the last time they updated or when was the last time they checked this? Okay, that's number five. Number six, make sure it comes with the high resolution uh, images or examples and samples. Okay. Then uh, number eight, you look for compatibility of the browsers. Does it work with Explorer, the one that sucks, Firefox, Safari, Opera, Chrome? That's number six, right? Number seven, this is optional. This is like if you need these, if you need the Gravity Form, is it compatible? If you want to have an e WooCommerce or e-commerce plugin is it compatible with that if you want to add a uh, membership training courses is it compatible with that so that's like number seven that you need to look for number eight which is the most important one right here make sure that it has the latest wordpress software update version so that's like number eight okay number eight uh number nine make sure that it comes with the psd file php files everything that comes with it because you're going to upload it uh, number 10, uh, that's optional. Number 10 should be, oh, here's another important one, well documented. So you have to make sure that the theme comes with the full documentation that covers at least 80% of how the, the theme is supposed to be uploaded, what are the backend uh, areas and sections and the features that needs to be changed and, and how it can be changed. And this is very beneficial for a lot of those people out there who are not a coder, but they want to learn how to build a website. You can just buy one of these templates Go to the documentation and see how it's built. And now you can start building website for your local businesses and make some extra cash. Okay. Number 11, make sure that it's responsive. Okay. And, and that's about it. And number 12, you know, click on the actual live preview. Make sure it comes with a live preview option because I want to test it. I want to see how it looks. Right. Uh, hey, Fabian, what's going on? So I want to see how this thing looks in, in in like real time as if the website is live right so i want to see how it's functional it's kind of taking a while right now i'm like still taking a while give me a few minutes <clears throat> 
Uh, Faisal, thank you for uh, liking the video. Appreciate it. If you have any questions, let me know. Okay, so now I can see how it works in live. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's how it looks. This one. Oh, this guy. Uh, more options. He's not telling me exactly which one. Launch the main demo. So number 12 is make sure that it comes with an option for you to kind of feel it. Like how it's. How does it function? Like when I click this page, what does it do, right? Where does it take me, okay? Uh, but these are very, very important because recently I got uh, two templates and this is very common when I looked at these two templates for a project I'm working on. One of them was a HTML and the other one was a WordPress. But even the HTML file, it, it has a version of the WordPress, but the sad thing is that both of them were outdated. The last time those templates were checked was in 2017. And they're not even compatible with the latest WordPress uh, algorithm, right? I mean, the, the core update. So this one here, this is how the pages looks like. Okay, when I scroll down, that's how it looks. You know, so these are like as if it's a functional site. So this will give an idea. How does it look? How does it work? What does it do? So you can decide, you know what? This is what I want for my website. Uh, this is how I want, I want the website to function. Now I can go ahead and start purchasing this and, and utilizing it. Right. So these are some of the areas that you need to look for, like right here. What other options they have? Does it come with multiple? Uh, hey, Veronica, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in. Finally, yes, you're lucky because I just started a few minutes ago. Um, I'm going to be live for 30 minutes only today because I got to I have a um, I got to talk to a prospect like after 7 p.m. So I'm going to make it short today. OK, so this one right here shows you the samples, what other uh, what other sample that comes with it, how it looks. You know what I mean? So these are very important, and this one particular template costs like 40 bucks, okay? So this way, I mean, you can decide which one you, which one you want to go to, but even, even before going to the themeforest.net to pick this fancy-looking site, initially you have to ask this question, and the questions are, you know, what is the objective of the website, and what do you want to accomplish from it? How many pages do you need, and why do you need them? Uh, what is going to be the one main primary relevant call to action on the page, right? Then what kind of email system I'm going to use to capture leads. And you need to make sure that it is going to be configured with the analytics to understand what is going to happen. So when you answer those four to five questions, you make that decision, you, you draw the map, the objectivity and then the purpose of the site because when the target audience comes in, I want them to do something because I want to freaking convert them, right? It's very, very important for a site to convert the visitors into a buyers to your product or buyers for your service. Because having a site just for the sake of having it is not good. You need to have that, that reason behind it. Like why I'm building this? Like what I want to achieve from this? I know everyone says like, I want to make some money. Okay, I understand that, but you got to be very specific. That's too vague. That's too general. You know, anybody can say, I want to make money, right? But that doesn't mean it's going to happen, right? So that's how you search for a template. But before you search for the template, you got to make sure, like, how I want the site to function. Then you look at the design because you're going to put the story there. You're going to put the brand. You're going to put the way they're going to look at things and whatnot. And go and read through all the details. Go and read all the details before you decide to purchase this team because you are going to miss a few things and that's one of the reasons that i've seen some people like you know become a wordpress template junkies they don't go through the whole stuff the 12 uh, main points that i mentioned they don't go through that and they don't read the whole thing to understand this particular team what else comes with it does it come with the support does it have 24 hour uh ticket supporting system can i get the reply back uh quick do they update on a consistent basis how are they responding to the comments? I mean, you can see this page just keep going and going and going and going, right? So that's how you basically look for uh, when it comes to a theme. It's very, very important. N look at these rules. Know what they are uh, and filter them out before you make the final decision and, and get them, right? Because if you end up buying like several of them and, and they're not doing what it's supposed to do, it's going to be problematic because the, the two templates that I got, uh, I won't be able to download them and upload them back to my server to tweak them and adjust them because first of all they're outdated so whoever built it did not make the update 
So what is going to happen in my situation to work on this specific project is that my amazing developer is going to customize uh, and get inspired based on the template that I got. So we're going to recustomize it based on those theme and template. Uh, Charles said, how can I tell if a WordPress theme is secure? Uh, Mr. Rodriguez, what's going on, sir? How are you? Good to see you. Thank you for tuning in. So Charles is asking, how can I tell if a WordPress theme is secure? Well, that is an excellent question. Unfortunately, you can't. The only way you can tell, not necessarily for WordPress, but the domain itself, if it has the HTTPS, that's number one. Number two, um, if you can use this tool here, it might be able to pull it up. It's called uh, what W theme is that? If you use this tool, what W theme is that? Okay, that's one tool. And the other one is called uh, built with. So you come to uh, what WP theme is that? Drop in the link right here. Then it will show you what plugins comes with it. If there is a security plugin like, you know, Sakuri, Word Defense, iTheme Security, that means they're using it. Okay. Or you can go to uh, built with drop the link right here then it will tell you what other configuration other plugin they are using so if, if it if it's able to pull that there is a security plugin then you know it's secure right sometimes it also depends on the hosting provider so for example SiteGround right now they offer an additional service for security that you can plug it in on the back end as well okay so these are the three ways that I can definitely uh, probably figure out if the website is secure or not okay all right, Mr. Rodriguez, do you have any questions for me today? Hey, Veronica, you said you have tons of questions. I'm waiting for you. What are those questions? Because it is 6.41. I've got 10 minutes. Jason, my man, what's going on? Thank you for uh, liking the video. The video. Uh, what security plugin do you recommend? There's several of them I recommend right now. Uh, Sukuri! Here we go. I oh, know I just said that very in a weird voice. Sukuri, right? So Sukuri, uh, right here. I recommend this one. There's ton Sukuri. There is Word Defense, which is another popular one, and iTheme Security. So Sukuri is uh, by far is still is still good. So you can use this plugin. It's free. They also have a fire, firewall service. <clears throat> so if you want to have a fire, so you, if you want to have the, your website behind a firewall. Sakuri has service, you pay them monthly, and they will basically put your website behind a firewall. This will give you that extra protection. Make sense? So it's very good to have it, uh, Charles. In fact, you can offer this to your clients. You can say, hey, go ahead and sign up with the service. E either they can pay directly, or you can uh, pay Sakuri and double or triple the price with your customer for your time and for your expertise. Make sense? So check out Sukuri, okay? That's one. The other one, like I said, Word Defense. You can use that too. Word Defense and iTheme uh, Security. So this is uh, Sukuri, all right? Sukuri uh, .net for security. So Veronica says one of the one of them is related to WordPress safety. Beside the HTTPS acquired in the hosting services, what plugin will be the best for extra layer protection? Which is yeah, the extra layer of protection. Veronica is this. Sukuri is one. Uh, but don't use more than one security plugin. Use Sukuri. Okay, that's that's the that's the, uh, Ali wa alaikum salam rahmatullah. So I checked my site on. Yes, you can also check your site, Mr. Rodriguez, on the Sukuri. If you have a WordPress website, plug in your website right there and let it check. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> this one, Veronica Sukuri. S U C U R I. Sukuri. Okay. That's that's one. You can use this one. Uh, the other one is called uh, Word uh, Defense. Whichever you like. Don't use more than one. Just use one of them. Okay. So, uh, right here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, side, side ground does. So, this is uh, another plugin called Word Defense. Okay. Uh, oh, not, not Word. Word. Uh, not reference, defense. 
One second, let's find the plugin right here. Word defense. It's tricky. It's tricky. There you go. Word fence. I said word defense. Word like in you know, a WordPress. Word fence. That's another one. Word fence. Protect your website with the best WordPress security available. That's a second highest popular plugin. Okay. Word fence. Word fence. Word word. Right? Fence. That's another one. You can check. Okay. And see which one do you like. And the uh, last one, uh, I theme security. I did put my website. Uh, I mean, if you can help me understand what this means. Oh, okay. Uh, give me a give me a few seconds. What's website again? It take it, it takes what action go? I'm like what? I'm like what is this? What is this? Uh, so this is I theme security right here. Okay. So these are the top three. The Sukui and uh, word, uh, the word fence and I theme uh, security. Okay, just pick one of them. They're all great. Just go through the whole thing, read it, see which, what do you like on these services. Okay, and uh, then see what happens. Okay, okay. So, Mr. Rodriguez, give me a second here because your domain, anytime you write the domain, you gotta give me that capital letters, my man, capital letters. It says, uh, uh, take action co, right? What it is? Is that, is that IT action co? What is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, for some reason, it's taking me to uh, it take action co.com slash password. It's, it's, uh, it's not, uh, and this is a Shopify. So the plugin is not going to work. The plugin is mainly for WordPress based website. How do we boost uh, SEO on Google? Excellent question. Excellent question. With Sakuri, do we still need a plugin or Sakuri will be enough? Sakuri is a plugin, Veronica. Sakuri is a plugin. Okay. Sakuri is a plugin. What is that domain? A. What the? Man, uh, when I said capital, not all capital. Mr. Rodriguez, like, you know, high capital, maybe, or, uh, you know what I mean? Because, anyway, uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, A T A T A L E A X T I on V. Let's see if this comes up. What is this? What is this? What is this? Uh, like, uh, a I T A L E A X T I O N V it's not coming up. It says can, website cannot be reached. Sorry, Mr. Driggers. Uh misspelled. <laughs> uh once again. Mr. Is Mr. Driggers struggling right now. I'm struggling too, my man. Uh oh. It's, uh, not it's V O, it's a C O, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Still not coming up. I don't know why it's not coming up. I put I T A. I take man, man. Is your finger too fat like me? Let's see. I take. I take action. Yeah, I take action. Uh, yeah, it's, it's forcing me to go to the password. Like, what is this? Take action. See you coming soon. Uh, you wanna you wanna analyze this? I'm like what? The, I'm like I'm like what the hell? Let's see, let's see here. Uh, let's see. It's not up yet. Uh, okay, so let me run quick. A um, uh, lot of great questions. Wow, a lot of great questions popping up right now. lot of great questions wow there's so many great questions this is amazing amazing uh it's good so there's no mail were found good job site is not blacklisted great low risk you don't have a high risk good so you're good okay what are you scared website monitoring not detected that means it doesn't have a monitoring system that's about it uh firewall detected let's say security headers 
let's see, missing strict transfer security uh, header. This is like a coding that you added on the back end of the website. You don't have it. So if you add the plugin, uh, you can enable it using the plugin. So you're good, my man. You are good. I don't know why you're scared, Mr. Rodriguez. Why are you scared? It's actually good. You're good. You're, you're in good hand. You're doing good. It's not even live yet. So when it goes live, then you can definitely run the plugin and uh, what you call it, run the plugin and uh, go that way. Okay. Let me go back and read some of these questions. Veronica, was I able to answer your question? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Can you... Okay. So there's one question. Can you repeat again? Oh, okay. All right. Yes. Okay. 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 All these questions. Uh, which security was in? Okay. Uh, Megan, how do we boost the SEO on Google? That's a question. That's an excellent question, but it requires a lot of work. Uh, it might require another 30 minutes to answer that question because you have to understand the whole idea about what is SEO in the first place and how the search engine works. Like what is the on-page SEO, what is an off-page SEO and stuff like that. So there's so many ways to boost your search engine on Google. Well, the first one, you have to make sure that the on-page optimization is properly set up. Then you have to do the monthly task that can take you anywhere from 20 to 50 hours per month, right? So are there any more questions about um, uh, WordPress uh, security? Are there any more questions about WordPress security? Before I go back, talk a little bit uh, regarding Megan's question. Are there any questions about WordPress security? Uh, let's see. Let's see right here what else I have for the security. Yeah, because um, but the first of all, you, your website is never 100% secure, just, just so you know. Okay, that's why we need some good security practice. And that start with um, using a strong password. You can use a password uh, generated tools or you can use uh, dashlane.com or LastPass. And when you create a username, do not create admin as the username, okay? Because that's you basically leaving the door open for somebody to hack in. You know what I mean? So there's so many systems out there that you can use for to keep the, like, like there's some technique, maybe I can talk about this tomorrow, some technique on how to keep your theme secure, some technique on how to keep your plugin secure, and some sort of uh, coding option that Charles probably going to like it on how to keep your WordPress site secure. So if you all wanna, want me to discuss about that, I can do that tomorrow because it will take me like probably 10, 15 minutes, even 20 minutes to talk about that uh, specifically, okay? I do wanna get back and uh, address some of the point on Megan's question, but let me see what else I have. Uh, <laughs> uh, how did you overcome camera fear shyness off topic? Well, at first, I mean, you, you, do, you do get that uh, tingling feeling in your stomach. Uh, the first time I believe I did, I just didn't care, man. I just went, uh, recorded videos and uploaded it and got some good comments and uh, negative comments and insulting comments, which was good in order for you to make your skin tough. But other than that, I mean, I just look at it right like at the camera and i think about my audience like you know what i'm here doing my best to help you so i'm focusing on you i don't care about how i look and what happens if i'm running having running nose or i'm twitching my eyes but i'm focusing on you so if i if i put my focus on you you know i, I want to give value i want to really help right i want to help my audience as if they, you are all here in front of me like right here because i do uh presentation and workshop like live so the camera is the same thing the only difference is you're just on the other side and the more you do it it becomes very really normal you have to believe in yourself don't care what people say unless it's a constructive criticism then that's a different story then you can take it humble yourself and adjust and improve but other than that i'm just focusing on you right now right now i'm like focusing on you all like what do you all need so that's my focus and because of that laser focus i'm forgetting everything Right, I'm because I'm laser focused on you. Okay, Ali, does that answer your question? Does that answer your question? Okay. All right, Veronica. So, what's the difference to security services offered by SiteGun? SiteGun has a different service 
I don't know that much. Uh, maybe when your website gets hacked or something, they'll let you know. Uh, but I haven't really toyed with it. I haven't really played with it. But they do have that option. So you can talk to them. You can actually connect with them and say, hey, what's the difference between having a Sakuri and going with you guys? If there's an additional cost, maybe I'll just stick with the Sakuri because Sakuri doesn't cost. It's free. Unless if you pay for the firewall. Right? Uh, good question, uh, Charles said. It isn't up, isn't up yet. Uh, Mr. Rodriguez, it is not up yet. Uh, still working. So on it. But I'll, I'll link my domain to Shopify already. I just see that I'm missing strict transport. Yeah, that's something. It's a coding area. If you have the plugin, it is going to work. But the plugin is not for Shopify, just so you know. Okay. Uh, put it in security.com. Okay. Yeah, uh, I hate typing. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. I'm welcome. My password is I love tacos. Yeah, nice password, man. Uh, great. Appreciate it. I stepped away. Sorry if I didn't respond. If you'd ask anything. No problem, man. So that's good. I got I got five minutes left. So, Megan, what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'll talk about some of the tips on how to keep your, uh, some of the tips and the practices on how to keep your self-hosted WordPress-based website secure. I'm going to also talk about, you know, how to boost your SEO for Google because that's a huge subject just on the SEO itself. Because the first step, you have to make sure that your own page is properly set up first thing. And if you want to get more traffic, you have to understand how off-page SEO works, right? What other areas I need to look for, right? So that's the whole subject. I would love to cover that tomorrow, if you don't mind. I'm going to talk about it tomorrow on the on your question on how to boost the SEO. I'm going to also talk tomorrow about the some of the technique on how to keep the site or specifically the WordPress self-hosted website secure, okay? So I'll, I'll, I'll definitely talk about that tomorrow, okay? Okay, because right now I got to bounce in a few minutes because I got to talk to a prospect, okay? I got to talk to a prospect. So, yeah. Let me know if you all have any more questions before I leave. Let me know if you all have any more questions. Thank you for those that share this live streaming. I appreciate it. Don't forget to tag some of your cool colleagues and friends. And uh, uh, and uh, keep sending me some of your questions and or put them on the comment section. I would highly appreciate it. Okay, any more questions? I'm going to wait for one more minute. Good luck with your meeting. Thank you. It's all good, bro. Good luck and thanks. All right, Veronica, any more questions? You said you had tons of questions. All you asked just two. <laughs> okay. Veronica, what's your question? Same your question ASAP. Uh, me, that's a nice uh, periscope gown. Uh, know anything about digital live insurance sales? About the live insurance sales? I don't. Good question, but sorry, I don't have the answer for that. Uh, tomorrow, I'll ask more. Okay, Veronica, thank you so much. Now, me, uh, if you ask asking about how to use digital marketing for life insurance, if that's your question, let me know. If not, then um, I don't know any life insurance sales. So uh, please forgive me for not knowing the answer to that. But if the question is how to use digital marketing to market it, then then... Then we can talk about more about some of the strategies and technique and research and whatnot. Okay. But thank you for asking, though, me. Thank you for asking. Yes, yeah, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. tomorrow, same time, 6 p.m. I'm going to be live on Facebook, uh, YouTube, and Periscope. 
Okay, and Periscope. All right, folks, thank you so much for uh, being with me here today. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to keep sending those questions, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you're watching this as a replay, please tap the word replay in the comment section. And for now, bye-bye, y'all.